Many of you continue to reach out to us with your coronavirus questions, and WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall is back with us now. Doctor, the first question is from Frank and Bill Ricca, and it is very timely considering today's booster announcement. He's asking, I normally get a flu shot in the early fall. I am due for a Pfizer COVID booster in November or December. How closely should I schedule my flu shot to the COVID shot? You know, I think all the questions I get are really good questions, but this is a particularly good question. <laughs> and we generally recommend that you not get a COVID-19 vaccine within two weeks of getting any other vaccine. So as long as you space your COVID vaccine two weeks apart from your flu vaccine, mm -hmm. you should be fine. Flu season usually starts in October, right? Yes. Yes. So something yes. to think but about. But yes, so start flu shots planning. here, you, know, you can start thinking about in September as well. All right. Well, Dana asks, should vaccinated people wear masks around other vaccinated people? You know, I think it really depends on the circumstances. If you are in a public space where everyone's vaccine status is not known, wear a mask. If you're in close contact with someone who's vaccinated but has an underlying condition that makes them immunocompromised, wear a mask. Mm -hmm. And if you're feeling under the weather, even if you don't think it's COVID, wear a mask. I almost always wear a mask now. Yeah, I'm finding myself carrying a mask everywhere I go. Everywhere. You just never know. You never know. Well, Christina writes, why are the child infection numbers increasing? You know, I think it's for two main reasons. First of all, we're dealing with the Delta variant that is so much more contagious than previous variants. And people are socializing and fraternizing more frequently than they were months ago. Children in particular, they're going to camps and play dates, sleepovers, amusement parks, zoos, sporting events where they could pick up the virus. Plus, some kids are actually catching it when their parents or their siblings bring it mm -hmm. home to them. All right. Well, Nina says a family member got COVID recently. He was fully vaccinated back in May. He has been in isolation for 10 days and without symptoms for three days. Should he test negative before he returns to work? No. I mean, if he has completed his 10 days of isolation, he's feeling better, he's fever free, then he should be able to return to work. He does not need to get retested beforehand. In mm. fact, the test can remain positive positive for a few weeks after infection, but that does not mean that he's still contagious. That's a good distinction there, Dr. Malika. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, Dr. Malika always offers her best advice, but as always, consult your personal doctor before making any decisions about your health. If you have a question for Dr. Malika, there are three ways to reach her. Her email, drmalika at cbs.com, on Twitter, at Malika Marshall, or Facebook message her, Dr. Malika Marshall. Also, back to school is almost here, and if your kids have questions for Dr. Malaga about coronavirus and returning to the classroom, send us a video at cbsboston.com slash askdrmalaga. Mm.